I'm sure this has happened to you as well, but you're talking with a friend or a family member and the conversation goes to issues that they may have or that they may have with you or life in general. And it's usually something that they're feeling convicted about because it's it was brought on by bad judgment, bad decisions. Um, the intentions weren't right and they want a solution. And your solutions are leading to, well, accept Christ into your life. Let him direct your life. And of course, they don't want to hear that. And the first thing they'll do is try to come back at you with scripture, just like Satan did with Christ in the, uh, the wilderness when he was tempting him there. And he kept using scripture, but he was using it wrong. And they'll say something like, um, you know, do not judge lest ye be judged and uh, ye without sin cast the first stone. They'll say things like that. And that's usually when you're talking about Jesus in their life. I call that the slap back. They're coming back at you. They don't want anything to do with it. They don't want to hear about it. They dug yourself a nice deep hole and that's it. And you need to listen to that. Let's talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. Now, if you get that kind of response, they're using the verses, but they're misinterpreting them. Do you think Jesus was actually saying that, that we as followers of Christ um, should never judge anyone or, or anything, um, that we should never make an evaluation of the circumstance and what's going on and, and never use our discernment that the Holy Spirit gave us when we accepted Christ in our life. We shouldn't use that, but just accept everyone and everything. That's not what Jesus was saying. Um, as followers of Jesus, we should be discerning, but we shouldn't be uh, judgmental. Uh, we shouldn't be condemning. That's what God doesn't want us to do. We need to be loving. We need to come in with a loving spirit. We want to tell them about Jesus and what he's done for us. It's uh, when Jesus said, do not judge others that you will not be judged. He wasn't saying uh, that a Christian must love and accept everything that, uh, that comes at them and, and never comment on the actions or conduct or lifestyles. He wasn't saying that. In reality, if you really care for someone, you are telling them the truth. You're coming at them at the, with the truth. And sometimes you have to confront people about sin and about sin that's keeping them away from God. That's the truth. And you're saying that in love. You're not condemning. You're saying that in love. The Bible even speaks about the truth. In Ephesians 4.15, it says, Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, and that is Christ. I think Solomon said it best over in Proverbs, the wisest man, and man, when he says things like this, you could see why. Proverbs 27, five and six, an open rebuke is better than hidden love. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than kisses from an enemy. God bless you, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.